Hey everyone, this is Ross and we're on a bit of a mission today. We got so many fruits to try, so many different varieties to try. This is my Italian 258 and I want to do a specific review on specific varieties because they're just so damn good. And you can see some back here that are ripening. Well, either they're really good or they have just really awesome characteristics to them that make it so that I want to review this. You can tell Italian 258's got that honey dripping right from the eye. Believe it or not, quite a common occurrence with, with uh, figs, believe it or not. Uh, but this one consistently drips honey from the eye. And actually, before it's even really ripe, I'm going to put this guy down so I can have two hands with the camera. We're going to do a taste test to compare the flavor. I would say uh, Black Madeira is a very similar fig to my Italian 258 in terms of the flavor. And I've had one actually, there might be one ripening if I can go look around here's my black madeira from uc davis it's loaded absolutely loaded so is my black madeira from kk um, but if i come in over here i have another one that's a bit different there might be a fruit on here that i can show you yeah it doesn't look like it but you can tell like look at the leaf right this is a a similar fig to black madeira not exactly the same but uh Italian 258 is kind of in a similar boat in that it's got a similar shape, similar flavor, similar attributes to the fruit itself, but indeed the tree is very different in how it performs and, and grows. And I would say my Italian 258 is quite vigorous. This is a pretty good node spacing here. Um, it always puts out really nice shoots for the year. Um, it gets heavy with fruit because it's always very productive. Uh, the only issue with this and the only issue with Black Madeira is that it just splits a lot. And if we have a lot of rain or any rain that comes in, if this is not on the drier side, I like to keep my pots on the drier side, the soil on the drier side. And I think that has been helping with the splitting. It's also been a bit drier out here just in general in the last week. However, um, this fig is really not good for splitting. And for that reason, it's kind of been brought down a peg for me. Um, you know, it used to be one of my favorites. It still is one of my favorites in terms of flavor. But I've been really disappointed last year because we had so many Italian 258 figs and they all just split on me. Uh, around September 1st, we're almost at September 1st now. Um, this fig really started to ripen. I mean, a lot of my figs at that time of the year were putting out tons of fruits. And it was just very unfortunate because at that time of the year, around September 4th, September 5th, September 6th, we just had a ton of rain. And every single Italian 258, I must have got maybe two, only two out of probably 50 that were edible. Every other Italian 258 split on me. And the same thing with Black Madeira. Um, except the black Madeira ripens so late and it has a longer window or longer ripening window. So for me, the difference between these two trees is indeed in the, the ripening window and how early they are. I would say Italian 258, it takes only 90 days to ripen after the fig forms. So when you see that little pea sized fig, 90 days later, it's ripe, which is awesome because black Madeira takes about 110 days. I still don't have any black Madeiras. I've been getting Italian 258s for a real long time. I should look up the exact date, to be honest with you. But let's just say it's a stupidly long time. It's, it's way longer than the 20 or so days that I'm talking about. I think it's, it's probably even maybe three to four weeks which is crazy. Um, and it's not like one tree had a better head start than the other because um, they were all in the greenhouse. Um, they're all quite mature. They all have the right size to them. So for me, Italian 58 is just significantly earlier. And I would say at least two weeks. Let's just throw two weeks out there as a really safe number. Um, I would also say that the ripening window last year of Italian 258, from the beginning of the first fig to the last fig was only a month and a half, whereas Black Madeira is two months. So from the beginning of the first fig of Black Madeira to the last fig of Black Madeira is two months. However, this could be a good thing or a bad thing in your climate. 
more in like late October and November when black Madeira really starts to ripen, I can throw it in the greenhouse, just move it in there and it'll be protected from the rain or even, even when there's less rain and I'll get really high quality fruits. Whereas Italian 258 at that point is done. It's done for the season. So for me, I think uh, it ha they both have their pluses and minuses and I would say, you know, one isn't better than the other. It depends on where you guys live and what your climate's like that year. Uh, but they're so similar in terms of flavor that it's just ridiculous to even, you know, think about having one over the other because of flavor. I think that would just be almost incorrect, but maybe in a really, uh, you know, warm climate, you could pick up the differences and maybe between their, their, you know, caprified versions, you pick up the differences better. I mean, look how gorgeous this fig is here, guys. Look at that. That's the, uh, that's going to be the thumbnail of this video. That's for sure. You can tell there's a ton of honey in there right at the eye. There is just so much honey that's being pulled up there that it's kind of, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, the other nice thing about these figs, the black Madeiras and the Italian 258s is that they don't have to ripen very long. People are usually very impatient with picking these um, because it takes so long to ripen. Plus you don't have them in high quantity. So, you know, people pick this fig quite early and it's one of those figs that you can pick early without really having too many issues with it. This fig could certainly go another maybe three to five days and this thing would be nuts. But even at this stage, it's so good. Wow. <laughs> that's really good. So for me, that's like... You know, the black Madeiras have the best flavor of any of the figs I grow. So for me, that's a five out of five. It's a five out of five. In terms of the flavor, it has the best flavor. Now, it doesn't have the best texture. It's very syrupy, it's very juicy, and I'm just not a big fan of that. I'd rather have a cold Dom here as an example. And the cold Dom has a great flavor but it has such a dense texture to it. I wanna show you guys a close up here of what I'm talking about and why, even though Col de Dom doesn't have a better flavor, it is still a five out of five for me because the texture, you can tell by looking at it, the acnes are almost non-existent. Whereas these acnes, see these white things here? Those are all those acnes. They're big, large in number, this creates a better texture. It still has a great flavor. Let's try it. Wow. That's really good, guys. <laughs> They're both really, really good. <laughs> so, you know, it's hard to say. Like, they both have a great flavor. Um, but clearly, Col de Dom has a better texture for my preferences. But... Anyway, guys, that was Italian 258 and Col de Dom Blanc, some of my favorite figs. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, if you guys are interested and, and want to, you know, know someone who wants to grow figs, share this video with them. Share all the videos that I've been doing because it really is helpful for, I think, a lot of people who are into figs and want to grow figs. And we just have so many varieties to show you guys, so many different fruits that it's kind of quite incredible. I mean, look at this. This is four different varieties right there that weren't, weren't even on camera. So I want to thank you guys again for watching. I want to thank you guys ahead of time if you, you've been sharing the videos. Take care. We'll see you all soon. Catch you for tomorrow's video.